Marvin Gaye created a song in the 80s which is one of the first songs in which the Roland TR-808 had a prominent role. Stay tuned to see how you can recreate this iconic beat. When this song was released in 1982, the Roland TR-808 was around for a year. And this fantastic song really helped boosting sales of the 808 back then. At that time I worked in a musical instrument shop in the center of Amsterdam and I programmed the demo 808 we had there to play the rhythm of this song and that really helped sales at that time. And in this new century the sounds of the 808 are even more popular. That's why Roland recently made a new hardware version called the TR-08 and even Behringer copied this iconic machine and called it RD-808. But there are also many free software versions and sampled sounds of the 808 around, so it's easy for any producer like you to use these sounds in a song. Now let me share the 808 beat of this iconic song that started it all. To recreate this song I use Ableton Live with the 808 core kit. Why? Because the piano roll editor of this 808 kit shows the names of all the sounds at the left, which makes it easier to explain it all. But you can make this beat in any other DAW using one of the many 808 plugins there are. Like for instance the Decomposer Citala sampler player which we reviewed on our YouTube channel. This has 808 sounds in it so you can use it without having to program it first and it also has great ways to edit the individual sounds and it has separate outputs. Check out the video later on. So in Ableton Live I drag the 808 core kit to the first MIDI track and double click on the first clip. This will open up the piano roll editor with one bar, but I want two bars for this beat, so I drag it at the top of the piano roll to measure number three, so from one to three that's two bars. I set the tempo to 94, which is somewhere around the original tempo of the song. I think they first laid down the kick drum on every two measures, so let's do that too. Next they fooled around with the closed hi-hat and did not put it all at the start of the beat but in the middle of every beat, so halfway between every beat. Next the clap, which is a quite loud ingredient in this machine so they only used it twice once in every bar on the second beat. Now we go back to the kick and make some groove in it. You can just click them in and move them around to get the right feeling. Now the snare is placed on very special places in the song, just before the real beat. The clave is also one of the main sounds here and these are placed in sort of triple system on the first, fourth and seventh place so you have two sixteenths counts between them. At the first bar we do this just three times and at the second bar we will fill it. But at the end of the second bar they moved the last two notes one sixteenth to the right. Now it already sounds like the rhythm we want, but we are also still missing the high and low tom and just one open hi-hat at the end. So let's fill these in too to finish it.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. On our website you will find the screen capture of this beat, so you can recreate it yourself. That's always the best way to learn how to work with your DAW. And you can also find the MIDI file with these two bars we created in Ableton Live, so you can import it in your DAW. Now it's your turn, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Oh, <laughs>